talked about Jamal Charlo and Julian Williams. A new number one contender in the IBF at junior middleweight from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The motherfucker who worked his way, the humble kid, the beast, the new B-Hop, the next generation of Philadelphia, your boy, Julian J. Rod Williams, and my boy. Did I say anything about Julian J. Rock Williams winning, though? I don't think I did. I don't think I ever did. Because my boy, the future of boxing, Jamal Charlo, the motherfucker who could barely make weight, supposedly. <laughs> but he's a killer, man. He's a come forward killer, but we have not seen him versus a technician like J. Rock. Oh, man. And I'm looking across the ring right now, and I'm looking across the ring at you, bro. You're wrong. Because Jamal Charlo is going to surprise J-Rock. And don't get me wrong, after Jamal Charlo wins this fight, J-Rock's going to have a hell of a career. And even if J-Rock does his thing and Jamal loses, he's going to have a hell of a career. These are two guys that might meet each other down the road Please make the fight now. Please, 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 please. Make this fucking fight this year. Please. Because both these guys win, lose, or draw, are going to have hella careers. And they're going to learn from this fight. And they're going to go next level off each other. They're going to be boys after this fight. And they might meet at middleweight one day. You know, J-Rock wants to unify, have all belts at 154. Never been done at 154. The only person to ever win four belts at any division is from Philadelphia, Bernard Hopkins. And he did that after he beat De La Hoya. And that's the last we've seen of anybody rocking four motherfucking belts. You know, because he did lose to Jermaine Taylor after that, I think. But it didn't matter because I think Jermaine, you know, the IBF shoots it quick. But small... J Rock, that's the fight of this year that everybody, that every hardcore boxing fan can't wait for. That's the fight that PBC Al Heyman have in their pocket, just waiting. They got two aces, man. They're sitting back at the table like, yo, we got two aces. When are we going to throw it down? You know what I'm saying? We ain't folding these babies. Make it happen, man. And uh, Jamal tweeted after J-Rock. I, I was hoping that Jamal would be there ringside to hype it up a little more. But, you know, he tweeted he tweeted Williams versus Charlo, which I loved. You know, you're going with the technician. Jamal is fucking solid. Good-ass mother. Oh, both the Charlo brothers. Hands up. Tight. Oh, my God. He's up there. Dude is like, he's looking like he's a... 168 pounders fighting 154 pounders. He's a menace. So this is a real 50-50 fight. It is. I'm just leaning a little more towards Jamal. It's something like I've been seeing Jamal for a long time, so it's not like I can go away from him, even though J-Rock's been really impressing me. J-Rock's last fight, he was doing some things in the ring. He was playing with his opponent, you know, like a cat who played with his mouse. He uh cat will play with a mouse. He was um you know, you could tell he was practicing some things against that Italian dude. Looked great. Had him knocked out on his feet. Uh, what a fight, man. What a fight, what a fight, man. I can't hype it up anymore. Jesus Christ, I'm gonna have fucking chicken wings. My boy's over. That's a that's a fight I pay for, bro. I pay fucking 30 beans for that fight. Man, that is, well, this I, is the top. This is this fight, and this man. This is me and you. Yo, we bad. We bad on this fight. We bad to steak dinner on this fight. I come to Philadelphia. No, I'm bad. I, yeah, I mean this this fight is my top five fight. I want to see, man. It's probably out of my all my top five fights. I want to see next. Um, that I'm going to see out of my top five, and man. 
it's it's such a dream fight, man. I really, I really can't wait to see this fight, bro. I really can't. Oh man, I really can't get. I, I'm telling you, I love this fight. But all I know is, man, my boy J Rock. And the new, IBF champion. Julian Williams, J-Rock. That's why I say, man, these boys ain't no lions. They a bunch of turkeys and deers, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> no, but I'm all jokes aside, man. This is this is a great fight. You can easily say it's a fifty-fifty fight, but. I'ma say it's sixty forty, cause my boy J Rock is taking this one, baby. You know what I mean? So oh, you know yeah, what man. I mean? I can't I can't wait. Sign the fight. If it's on pay per view, I'm buying it. You know what I mean? And I'm a broke nigga, so Ain't gonna be I, I, I do whatever I can to just let me see you know what I mean, to get to watch this fight. So I can't wait. I can't wait to see this fight, man. Ah, uh, man, I, I just can't wait to see J. Rock versus Jamal, man. It's you, bro. man. This this yeah. fight on paper and in the ring is gonna be the, the best fight. fight of the year, bro. The fucking Hands dope. down, it's dog. It's a Hands fucking down. It's, it's a just, chisel your I, face chest match, bro. It's a chest match at a popping level. Because the shots that these dudes throw, ooh, man, it's going to be crazy, bro. Crazy. It's definitely going to be crazy. I can't fucking wait. We're going to fight. We're going to fight. I could, both of them aren't pretending, and I'm not saying that, but we're going to find out who's who wants really. it more. But I know my yeah, boy, J-Rock, want it. Now, I that nigga want more. it bad. This is my for nigga the want it bad. Yeah. You gonna lose some Jamal, money that Jamal, night, bro. Yo, Jamal. You gonna lose some money that night, yo, dog. Yo, <laughs> you, yo, this dude, K nine Bundry. I don't know where yo. He, <laughs> come, Jamal yo. ate that dude up. I'm hungry. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we, you we boy gonna, out, you gonna lose should. some money that night, dog. Just, just, just. No matter what, put that money aside from now. Yeah, I mean, might nah. as well because you, you, your boy going down, man. Your boy uh, going down, man. You go. You, you sleeping on Jamal, man? He's a hard ass. Everybody Dog, says I it, just said this is a sixty forty fight. I'm this just why, telling like, you what, how it is, nigga. This is Julian, dog. These are the best like, one fifty four yeah. fighters. The two best one fifty four fighters. Can but, I tell you? Can I tell you about Ronnie Shields though? I believe the best trainer in the game, at least the top three trainer in the game, if he knows what he's doing. Dog, but he's lying. Steven, Steven um, Bredaham, he is a great trainer, underrated trainer. Oh, yeah, yeah, Y'all, yeah, y'all yeah, sleeping yeah, on yeah. him. Nah, you but they I mean, come on. They don't, I ain't sleeping on nobody. I'm just saying, though, uh, Ronnie, you know what I'm saying? But I mean, both these guys, you know what I'm saying? Both these dudes got boxing IQ. Um, you know, J-Rock does a lot of stuff in there. You, you got to go back and watch. He's real slick. He's always thinking. He, he's smarter than you. You know, Jamal, when you get hit by him, you can see the fear in, the fear in these dudes are. I love Jamal because he, he never smiled, bro. I love that shit. It's like, Kobe on the basketball court in his prime. I'm not looking to, I'm looking to kill you. That's what I see in Jamal. That's why I love that dude. That's why I love that dude. And then everything else with it is it's just his medicine one, two, breaking down. I mean, he destroyed K-9 Bundridge. We're talking levels here because we've seen, you know, Ishe. Remember when Ishe got the IBF strap? Had to earn it from K9. But we'll see, man. It's like, uh, like we said, man, we're going to be the dead horse. Get it on. 
excellent fight. I mean, anybody that, any casual fan, you're going to be a fan of both these guys because I see both these guys grabbing their nuts and showing Houston versus Philly. Houston versus Philly? Damn, we haven't had a good Houston versus Philly since AI was going up against Stevie Francis. So I can't wait for that shit. It's going to be popping. Can't wait, can't wait. Money's going to be on the line. Pride's going to be on the line for us. Because <laughs> I don't want to be yeah, wrong man. with you. I, I just, I, I just can't, yeah, I different. can't wait to see that fight, man. Yeah, you know well, I mean? once that fight, once that, uh, once that fight's officially announced, we'll dissect it for the fans a lot more. You know what I mean? We'll go into everything, uh, yeah. height, reach, all the, all the, all the advantage, the tactical. We're going depth about it, you know what I'm saying? We just it's kind of like a hype hype show tonight. We hype